Hello friends this is Peter from Techanist today we are going to see learn the reversal candlestick like professional what is the reversal candlestick what are the types of reversal candlestick and where should this reversal candlestick form to judge the market whether it is getting reversed or it is a continuation trend so to know that we should learn the reversal candlestick today i am going to teach you the five reversal candlestick on the resistance point and the support point this should form in the resistance and support then only the market may take a reversal from that point when this type of candlestick forms what i am going to explain in this video friends this is very much important so that every trader should know this there is a lot of candlesticks are there apart from what i am going to teach you so i don't want the beginners to confuse with giving a lot of in one video so you first practice this five candlestick and the day to day trading life and master it and try to spend some time for learning this okay friends before starting this video i request all my friends those who are new to my channel just below this video you will find a subscribe button hit and a subscribe button and also hit and a like button if you like this video and if you like this video share it to your trading friends so they also get some benefit out of this video and do not forget to hit on a bell icon so any video i upload will notify you and one more thing i just wanted to tell all my viewers please comment whatever queries you have leave your comment in my comment section so that i will reply to all your comments i'll clarify all your comments okay let's start the video learn the reversal candlestick like professional i assure you if you practice and learn after seeing this video definitely you will be looking the candlestick like professional what is candlestick the candlestick indicates the underlying asset price movement that is ohlc what is ohlc that i am going to explain you in the candlestick itself this this is a just introduction the main topic is only the reversal candlestick in the support and resistance that is the main topic this just uh, a brief idea just i am giving you some ideas what is candlestick candlestick indicates the underlying asset price what is the asset price asset is nothing but the stock the stocks which is there in the stock market running like bel hal like uh, maruti these are the stocks this is the underlying asset price movement the candlestick indicates you the stock price movements okay the ohl c is a open high low close that i'll explain in the candle okay and this candlestick charts are one of the most popular component of technical analysis these candlesticks are used by uh, all over the world by the technical analyst to find out the movement of the stocks to find out the entry level to find out the exit level based on the candlestick body types that body types i'm going to explain you in the coming points the technical analyst interpret the price movement based on the history this history forms over a period of time that is over a period of time the individual candlestick patterns that trader used to recognize the major support and resistance level the candlestick has time frame like 1 minute to daily weekly monthly candlesticks okay the lower time frame candlestick the lower accuracy the higher time frame candlesticks are higher accuracy so people who those who do a intraday they look for a lower time frame candlestick people who go for a investment positional trades they look for an a higher time frame the mesh most of the time the higher time frame candlestick is a higher accuracy so this over a period of time what happens this candlesticks forms 1 2 3 4 10 20 100 1000 to thousand, thousands of candlesticks forms these candlestick make a room for a support and resistance because it respect the history 
so it respect the history resistance and support and the same place today it will take in support and resistance over a period of time this candlesticks forms a pattern like even pattern is like uh, symmetrical triangle pattern ascending descending triangle pattern cupid handle pattern double top triple top bar patterns head and shoulder patterns lot of patterns are there this pattern formation happens with these candlesticks over a period of time okay so this patterns based on the patterns the analyst predict the price movement predict the market movement predict the trend of the stocks so all these things are done with the candlesticks only so this candlesticks is very much important now we'll go to next slide okay what is candlestick i already told this is a bullish candlestick what do you see seeing the green normally people have green and white which is bullish and red and black is a bearish because bearish black is dark always people fear red is blood because it's sucking our money okay this is a bullish candle what does this bullish candle indicates you here it is a open price okay this is a low price l okay and this is a close price and this is a high price okay the candlestick forms in this format so ol hc that is what in the first slide i showed you see here buyer how do you see this candle predict this candle buyer started here seller bought down the price and again buyer took control and take took till here but seller again tried to bring the price down but closed here this is a bullish candle we call this as a bullish candle so how i see the candle the way of i see the candle the way of other people see the candle is totally different because i see the candle in one candle i see lot of thousands of lakhs of people are in one candle because if the price has to go up lakhs to lakhs crores to people are in this buyer form and in the seller form these two people fight and take the price up if buyer wins the price goes up if buyer lose the seller take over control and bring the price down and this is a bearish candle bullish candle opens at the low and closes at high but bearish candle opens at high this is a open price and this is a high price this is a low price sorry this is a close price and this is a low price this is also same format okay the bearish candle opens high and closes low the bullish candle opens at the low and closes at high bearish candle what happens the buyer lose this trend and seller take a control and bring the price down the asset value that is the stock price they bring it down okay hope you understood the point what i was trying to explain in this slide okay now we'll go to next slide five reversal candlesticks and the support zone this is support candlestick that we say as a support candlestick okay five reversal candlesticks first one i'm just explaining you the hammer candle what is the hammer candle you can see this is a hammer candle okay this is a we call as a wick or lot of people call as a shadow also okay and this is a body the hammer candle will have a smaller body and upper upper small wick and lower longer wick this we call as a hammer what does can you see in this candle what was the buyer and seller activities i just imagine that how the buyer was fighting and how the seller was fighting in this see the price i told you price opened up here okay came till here and again gone up and closed here you can see here who is the strength here in this candle is red color but who is the strength here here the buyer are in control because the candle opened here the price has dropped drastically but buyer took control and taken the price up and closed here so buyer has an a control on this candle this is what you have to 
think this is how you need to see the candle who is fighting who is winning in this candle this is a buyer has won the though it has closed lower than the open price but hammer is a strengthier pattern bullish pattern which is buyer has taken a control the example i will show here after a downtrend a solid downtrend when this hammer pattern form here and the second candle engulfs here the trend we say the reversal trend from here trend may reverse to up okay so the hammer pattern formation where this formation should happen this should happen in this support point i'm talking about only the support candlestick pattern okay this should have a support and the market should come down okay and from here it taken a support and going up okay this is support candlestick pattern which i was talking about and next is a spinning top what does this spinning top tells you this is a spinning top scandal okay what does this spinning top tells you there are buyer and seller has a equal strength buyer opened the price here and seller bought down again buyer took control again it has taken up but again came down and closed so it has a equal strength that is undecision candle we call this is a undecision candle when market comes near the support or resistance the support point when the seller when market is coming down from upside like coming down from upside when market is coming up down up down and come down here okay and take up when this candle forms in the support zone there is undecision formation is happening in the market you should get alerted in this area when this undecision candle forms because from the uptrend market has came down and suddenly there is a undecision formation in the candle that is spinning top that is in the support zone i'm talking about only the support candlestick i'm going to explain the five patterns on that in this lot of candlestick will be there five patterns i am going to teach you here and this support zone okay see you can see here this we call as a morning star pattern that morning star pattern in the next slide i'll be explaining you okay i'll explain here only when the trend is coming down the huge seller selling pressure and suddenly this candlestick if this candlestick forms in the chart you need to look for whether there is an a historical support in this point go to a higher time frame and zoom zoom out the chart zoom in the chart so then you can find a support historically is there any support those who are not seen my support and resistance how to draw support and resistance i will just upload in my i button you just click on the i button and see that video you will come to know how to draw the support and resistance so in the support zone if you have any support zone and even market is taking the same place forming a spinning top so seller has know that it is there there is a support in this point they started booking their profit in this point because of that only the undecision and the small spinning top candle has formation happened from here in the support zone when this undecision candle happened the buyer start taking control on the market and they took the price up this is how where you need to see for an entry having your stop loss below the support you need to look for an entry opportunity every time i don't say every time it will 100% it will go right see this technical analysis will give you around 70 to 80% of accuracy and based on your money and risk management you will be in successful you will be a successful and based on your hard work of learning and based on your practice mastering the strategy and finding out the right support and resistance point okay 
this we call as a morning star candle after a huge drop when this candle forms we call as a morning star okay hope you understood what is the spinning top okay next we'll go the support candle only okay this is a doji candle we call as a doji candle you can see here this is a doji candle okay this is also the open and close price would be same if price is opened at 30 rupees and market has gone to 35 and 40 finally came and closed at the 30 rupees only that is the doji candle this is also called as an undecision candle the open and close price are the same okay you can see here a market came down when this doji candle forms and finally it engulf so in the downtrend as i explained in the spinning top the same method occurs if this candle comes also the same because seller has found some support is there historically so they start booking their profit and from here buyer to control friends you should look these candlestick patterns in the only in the support and resistance point not in the in between it may it it is also calculated as a continuation trend also if this candle close below this we call as a continuation trend also but you should look this candle in the support and resistance zone in between if it comes it will continue the trend don't see that the continuation candlestick patterns i will be making another video and upload it to you all okay this is also called as a morning star candle okay so this is a doji candle we call as a doji candle you need to buy had this candle why i'm explaining it you need to buy had this okay we'll go because my video is going lengthier we'll close this faster okay dragonfly doji okay dragonfly doji is like a t formation this is a t formation open price here and seller to control bought down again buyer took control and came and close on the same point this is a bullish signal this call this candle we say bullish signal this is an undecision signal doji candle and dragonfly doji is a bullish signal okay it indicates the bullishness in the market okay you need to see as what i see i see only lakhs crores to people in this one candle what how they are fighting what is the result i see the result of the buyer and seller based on this i judge whether i need to take in a trade or not okay okay you can see here the same the same pattern like this is also a like morning star pattern okay we'll go next candlestick this is also reversal candlestick this is a fifth candlestick which i'm bullish engulfing okay what is the bullish engulfing you mean by when a downtrend there is a lot of pattern trend harami bullish harami bearish harami okay dark cloud pattern and lot of patterns are there okay marabosu Mar candle all those are uh, bull, uh, support and resistance candlestick i don't want to confuse you with a lot of candlestick okay so this is a bullish harami what is bull uh, sorry this is a bullish engulfing candle what is engulfing mean by see i am standing on a side one side of a road one motorcycle people is traveling and he's standing in front of me and suddenly a bus come and stand in front of me i can't see that two-wheeler person so what we say that that bus has engulfed a two-wheeler person i can't see that two-wheeler person because bus has hidden me that two-wheeler person so what does this mean by bullish engulfing bullish engulfing is nothing but it should form in the downtrend when the candle is forming a red 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 blue green red green and coming down the market when there is a red candle and this red candle is engulfed by the bullish that called is a reversal pattern in the support zone this is a bullish engulfing this candle should be engulfed totally by the bullish candle if it close below this week also it is not called as a bullish engulfing it should 100 percent engulf by the 
bullish pattern and this bullish pattern should not have the higher wick formation okay it should have the lower wick formation the lower wick percentage is the higher accuracy the higher wick percentage is the lower accuracy you have to see for that and this then we may judge the reversal of the market okay now next we'll see morning star already i showed to showed you on that earlier okay and one more candle is a inverse hammer candle normally this inverse hammer should form in the green format and when the market is coming down and when buyers suddenly start taking control on this and bought down the price down it indicates in the support zone if it comes in the support zone it indicates some trend reversal based on this candle you are not supposed to take any trade next one or two candle you have to look for next candle and then you can judge the reversal of the trend okay seller took control but somewhere seller is losing their strength because buyer tried wants to go up and failed to go up but came down still it has closed higher okay so there is a coming end for an downtrend it indicates there is a end for an a downtrend okay if you find this type of candlestick pattern in the support zone you have to be alert and you have to book your profit and look for an opportunity opportunity for in a buying side okay now we'll see a three white soldier i have individually said you candlestick but pattern wise i am giving you only five patterns okay this is a three white soldier pattern in a downtrend when this three white soldier pattern formation happen that means the trend is getting reversed as i told you the lower time frame lower accuracy the higher time frame would be the higher accuracy okay in this white three white soldier you may get confused sometimes what happens this white soldier it becomes a three inside bar that is a continuation trend pattern see if this candle open the angle friend open and the second candle if opens from the center point that is gap down opening and taking up again the third candle opens from the center gap down open and going up that means this is a continuation trend pattern that will not called as a three white soldier okay please understand difference between white soldier and continuation trend pattern okay that i'll make some other video if this candle start from the center or lower than the center that is not in a white soldier don't get confused and caught in your trade and book and losses okay white shoulder soldier pattern should form near it closes only near it closes near it closes the white shoulder pattern should form not from the mid of the previous day previous closed candle okay hope you understood this white shoulder candle pattern okay now we'll go for an five reversal candlestick of resistance pattern resistance candlestick so till now we are seeing a support zone candlestick now we are going to see a the same vice versa what i explained in the support candle the same vice versa we take in a reversal resistance candle okay this i will not take much time because in the support candle i have explained everything to you okay we'll see hanging man hanging man ke pattern i have not explained you properly the hanging man pattern candle will not have an a weak weak a smaller very smaller invisible weak or no weak and the top side which is called as an hanging man the weak should be very higher those who are not into my telegram channel i have alerted when the market is going to reverse from the top and the peak at that time in the daily candlestick i said there is a hanging man pattern candle as formed so market may take reversal from this point i have alerted in my telegram channel those who are in my telegram channel they will know what i have alerted okay this is a hanging man pattern when hanging man pattern comes 
Hanging men meaning is what? Man is dying. He is hanged. That is in the uptrend a hanging man pattern is a reversal candle pattern. So next candle when it comes conforms a downtrend. It is always better the candle should close below the wick of the hanging man. That is a more accuracy that trend will reverse to a downside. Okay. And second pattern we'll see a resistance pattern. Shooting star. Okay, what is shooting star? It is like a inverse hammer, but there should there will no no wick. If you stand this candle, this will become a hanging man. The same hanging man candle, if forms an inverse formation, we call as a shooting star. Okay, this is a hammer pattern. You should not get confused with the hanging man and hammer. Hanging man will not have a wick and hammer will have a wick. Okay. How does this pattern formation happen? In the uptrend, this pattern if forms, okay, inverse hanging man pattern candle. So, and the next candle if engulf this one, this is called as a shooting star pattern. This should form in the resistance point. When market is going up and when this candle forms, you have to look for any resistance, whether there is a resistance in this point because historically, any resistance formation is there in this area. So you have to look for it and you should look for a selling opportunity in this point. Don't trade every day. You don't look for any trade for every day. I see a lot of people uh, join to my telegram and within uh, one, one day, two days they see and they go out. I am pretty sorry for them because they are looking at tips. Please friends. I always tell those who take a tips, they lose all their money. They will not be in this market. Market will throw them out. Market will keep the people, those who are uh, intelligent and those who can handle the market. You are fighting with the fire. You are not fighting with a, some common man in the roadside. Okay, You are fighting with the fire. When you fight with the fire, you should have a lot of equipment. You should know how to fight with the fire. Okay, so. You should know, learn, and then you should trade. Okay, this is a shooting star candle. You should look for an, a selling opportunity in this area if it has there is a resistance in this area. Okay, we'll go next candlestick. Sorry, I had named the same shooting star. Sorry, this is a do doji candle. Okay, this is a doji candle which I already explained to you. Okay, this is a spinning top which is I already explained to you. This candle, same spinning top in the support zone. And if this same spinning top and doji forms in the resistance point also, it is considered the reversal candle. Okay. These two candles are a, only for a reversal candle. Okay. So these three candles stick in the resistance point. Okay. See here, this is a mon uh, uning star candle we say. This if it forms a, this doji don't, the, is not a matter. If it is found a spinning top in in this area still it is a reversal candlestick when next candle is engulfed by this candle okay closed below this is called as an uh, inverted uh, uning star so we have to look for an sell opportunity either these three any of these three candle forms here you should look for in this center point you should look for an uh, selling opportunity okay next we'll go for an uh, fourth bearish engulfing we have seen a bullish engulfing why is what's the same it is a bearish engulfing the candle should form the last candle should be in green and finally red candle should engulf the green candle which is called a bearish engulfing okay now we'll go for an a uh, sorry this is a not bearish engulfing this is a three black crow i have forget to change the name this is a three black crow we call as a three black crow okay three white shoulder what i explained the same vice versa this is a three black crow in the uptrend this three black crow will formation will happen the close and open should be same in this also same if it opens in the center from the center from the center then it is a not a reversal candle it may continuation trend so it should close and open should be in the same price range. 
near slightly higher low is not problem so this is called as in three black crow pa pattern this is also a reversal from the resistance point friends hope the candlestick which i was trying to explain you hope you understood what i'm actually trying to this you need to master it and you should know the support and resistance those who don't uh, know to draw don't do, uh, know to draw the support and resistance please use cpr indicator which has a good support and resistance with the pivot point that is that indicator is very good you can use that also but you should look for a support zone candle and resistance zone candle i explained you five bearish can in uh, candlesticks and five bullish candlestick resistance resistance candlesticks and support candlesticks okay hope friend you understood what i was trying to explain you thank you if you like this video please share hit on a like button don't forget to comment if you want to know more about this please send me a comment so i'll explain you whatever queries you have and don't forget to subscribe thank you see you again with the new video thank you friends thank you very much